Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle. I do makeup tutorials, beauty reviews, skincare reviews, anything beauty related. I probably film it. If that sounds good to you, I would scrub down to my channel. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And for today's video, I decided it's time to do a monthly favorites. I haven't done one of these videos in so long. And then when I started gathering stuff up for this video, it collected. I have a lot to go over because I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. So let's just get into the video. Okay, so like I said, we are doing a monthly favorites. It's the end of April already. And I just feel like doing one of these. I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time. So I have a lot of products. I really could have put a lot more into these but I was like okay like what are my current favorites right now so that's kind of how I was able to shorten it a bit you'll see there's a lot of products in here I don't even know where to start I incorporated let's see I incorporated hair care skin care body care makeup and I guess I would call it like lifestyle so I got a lot of stuff to get into so I'm gonna start with hair because I only have one product to talk about for hair so my favorite has been this Kristen S dry shampoo powder so I've been on a journey with my hair recently <laughs> and by journey I mean of not washing it so I am the type of well was the type of person who washed their hair every single day I just couldn't stand my hair being oily and I just I run oily I always talk about this on this channel like I'm oily my hair is oily it's just my problem so <laughs> I decided finally that I wasn't going to be washing my hair every single day and like let's just be honest I got a little bit lazy and so I just wanted to figure out how I could extend the longevity of my hair and another reason why I stopped washing my hair every single day was because I started to get dry scalp so it's funny I run oily but then my scalp would be dry and I just felt like I was kind of just having problems with it and I also felt like my hair wasn't growing as fast so that's really what got me started on this like hair journey I don't know what else to call it like yeah, I'm just going to call it a hair journey because I have no idea what to call what I've been on or been going through. So anyways, for the past two months, I've been training my hair of not having to wash it every single day. And that's why this dry shampoo has been a lifesaver. I love the Batiste. I still use that. But I've been reaching for this just a little bit more. I love that it's like a really fine powder. And it, my hair absorbs it really quickly. And now I've gone to be able to wash my hair every three days. So this product has really been helping with that. Next, let's get into skincare. So my favorite has been the Skinny Confidential Hot Shave Cream. I did a full review and tutorial. I'll link above for you guys. I'm still so obsessed with this. I shave my face every single week. I always just like the smoothness of my skin so that's why I shave my face every single week but I've also been just using this as just a shaving cream just even for my body I usually use this on my arms and armpits I don't put this all over my legs but I have been using it for my arms and armpits and I just love how moisturizing it is afterwards it's funny after shaving you're usually a little bit more dry but I feel like my skin feels really soft and subtle and just really comfortable and this shaving cream has made such a difference so this has definitely been a favorite of mine and another favorite for skincare has been the line by coquette they were kind enough to send me their products I'm going to be doing a full review for you guys but I did want to mention it quickly in this video because they are or they have been a favorite of mine for the past month and a half so they sent me samples to try out fell in love with it wanted to work with them so they went ahead and sent me the full-size products and I've just been so into it it's the vanishing act brightening cleanser and the vanishing and brightening cream all I've been using for the past month and a half and have just been super obsessed with like I said I will be doing a full review so stay tuned for that next favorite has been CC serums so I don't know what's taking me so long to incorporate a CC serum into my routine and this is because I'm like a skincare fanatic like maybe I just was using other products in the morning before that I just didn't feel the need for a CC serum well, my bad, because I really do, it's really good for the skin, really helps brighten the complexion, so I've definitely been playing with a different CC serum formulations, just because I want to see what applies nicely underneath my makeup, usually. So the two that I've been loving have been the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum, 
and the Summer Friday CC Serum. I like the Fridays, the Summer Friday CC Serum, just a little bit more. I tend to reach for this one, and of course this is a travel size, so I do have to buy the full size. But I do really love both, to be honest. But this one just like a little bit more. So if you're deciding which one to buy, I would buy this one. But I really love both. I've seen such a difference in my complexion. It's just brighter. <laughs> so again, I don't know what's taking me so long to incorporate this. And I've been really into this clean girl trend, this makeup trend going on, where I want my skin to breathe. And I actually did a tutorial on this look right here. Um, it will have been uploaded before this, so I'll link it above or down below for you guys. And I just want my skin to be able to breathe. And I, the reason why I think I love that trend so much is actually because of the CC serum that I apply. It just makes my skin super glowy and dewy. And I just love the radiant finish that it gives. It makes your skin just look healthy. I love that word when you're and when talking about skincare, like healthy. Like I just want my skin to look healthy. And these CC serums really do the trick. And lastly, for skincare, I am obsessed with the Ula Hendrickson Strength Train Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Oh my gosh. I've had this for a little over a month, and I am going through this. I reach for this all the time. I slather my skin in it in the evening, and then sometimes before I go to the gym, I will apply this just as like a barrier on my face. It's so rich so dense so luxe I love it and my skin just soaks it up. I really wanted something with peptides I really wanted to help the collagen production within my skin and this really I've just seen such a difference my skin just feels hydrated it's a little bit more plump a little bit more youthful I've been so obsessed with this if you're not following me on TikTok you should. I'm always giving updated beauty reviews on there. I'm always doing unboxings of a lot of these products that I'm showcasing. So if you want just more content, I would go over there because, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to upload once or twice a day. And I talk about a lot of these products on there. So if you ever want to see what I'm just really into loving or testing out, head over there. I'll link that down below for you guys. Now let's move on to body care. So especially with it being spring and then almost summer I always really get into my body hair just because I feel like we're showing off a little bit more skin during this time so the first thing I want to mention is the Lux unfiltered reviving hand cream I don't know why people don't talk about this enough I love the scent it's such a clean scent and it is so moisturizing like it just gives your hands this beautiful glow and it's funny because for my job I'm a social media manager and with that I'm always taking content and taking pictures and some of my clients are women and funny enough the feedback that I've gotten from the women that I've shot content with is that sometimes they don't like their hands to be photographed and I'm like why well again I've, t I've talked about this on this channel our hands are some of the first places on our body that show signs of aging and so they always feel like their hands make them look older so when I go on photo shoots I take this and I make them apply it and their hands just glow and then they're okay with me taking pictures of their hands so again I don't know why a lot more people don't talk about this I'm a big believer in hand creams I have been I really got into hand creams in the beginning of the pandemic because we were washing our hands so much and using hand sanitizers. I was like, it's funny, I hear a lot of people are getting dry skin and then they're getting cuts. So I was like, hmm, I better be applying hand cream after I wash my hands. Like, I just wanted to get into that habit and I did. I have hand cream everywhere. I always have some by my computer. I have them in my bathroom, in the car, in my purses. My boyfriend's always asking for hand cream because I've gotten him addicted to it too. Um, like I said, because our hands show signs of aging first, I really try to keep them moisturized as best I can. So that's just a little tip. I would definitely check it out. It's, I, yeah, I said it's by Lux and Filter. I'm like rambling about it that I'm not even sure if I said it, but I did. And this has shea butter, it has argan oil, cacao seed butter hyaluronic acid squalene and vitamin e so just is filled with all these goodies in here and i think that's what gives it this pretty sheen i just i love it 
Another body care favorite recently has been these Aromic Therapy Body Washes. It's by Apothecary. Um, they were kind enough to send me these just to try out. And I'm obsessed with them. So these two are my favorite scents. The first one is the Lavender and Spearmint. I love using this in the evening. I love the scent of lavender. I think I've literally have trained my mind that as soon as I smell lavender, I know that it's time to go to bed. <laughs> so I love using this in the evening uh, while I'm showering because it's so soothing. And like I said, it just puts my mind at ease and then I know that it's time for bed. Now on the flip side, the other scent I've been loving is the cypress and eucalyptus scent. Oh, it just smells so clean it's kind of got this masculine scent to it i'm obsessed with it it really wakes me up so i reach for this in the morning i do have two other scents as well but i'm trying to get through these first before i open up the other ones but i'm really into them the last body care product that i wanted to go over was this healing organic aloe vera gel infused with jasmine so i boyfriend's mother got me this for my birthday it's for the skin face and hair i just really ooh, i just really like the formula on this gel it's so hydrating on the skin and it feels really good so i really like this aloe vera because i know that i'm going to reach for it a lot come the summertime when i'm usually out more when my skin just needs that extra hydration or if i Hopefully, which I should know better, but in case I do get sunburned, I will reach for this. And actually, what I did was I put this in a spray bottle. So I got a spray bottle, and I put this, and then I diluted it a little bit with water so that way I could shake it up, and it goes, that way it could spray more easily. And I'm obsessed with it. So after I do my skincare and my body hair, I'll use the, I'll use the spray, and I'll spritz my body and face. Kind of like a facial mist, but I spray it all over just to get the extra benefits of aloe vera. Aloe vera is really good for your skin. So those have definitely been my body care favorites. Now let's go over makeup. So funny enough, I realized that I pulled products and there a lot of them are from the same brand. So I think I'll just go over it each. I'll just go over it by brand because these are truly some of my favorites. But the first one that I actually want to go over, it's kind of funny. I mean, kind of funny to me because, well, anyways, it's an eyebrow stamp, <laughs> eyebrow stamp and eyebrow stencil kit. So, iMethod was kind enough to gift me these as well. <laughs> and funny enough, I had this in my Amazon cart. I just never pulled the trigger because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. I'll just be honest, I wasn't sure. So... Anyways, they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some, and I was like, okay. I fell in love with it, so that's why it makes me giggle, because I've had it in my cart forever, and I just never pulled the trigger. So I did a full review uh, over on my channel, maybe about, um, about a week or two ago, and I'm just obsessed with it. This is the perfect product for, I feel like for anyone, but especially for lazy girls. I'm so bad when it comes to brows. I'm actually kind of lazy about my brows, because I take up so much time to do to get them even and all of that it's just like a lot of time I'm like if they kind of are similar I'm good but anyways this eyebrow stamp makes it so easy to do so it comes like this and then it comes with stencils so what you do is you apply the stencil to your brow you take the product the product is inside and then the stamp is right there so you put the you put the stencil on your face and you literally stamp on your brows. It's that easy. And then you'll flip it to the other side, obviously, so you can do the other brow, and they're identical. I've never had, I've never been so obsessed with my brows, I'll be honest. So again, it makes me giggle because it's just taking me so long to use this, and I'm like, really Bianca? Like it was that easy, and I just I love them so. Anyways, I've been really into these. Now let's go over some of the brands I've been loving. So, first, I'm going to start with my favorite one. So, I've been really into this whole clean girl makeup look. It's the no makeup but makeup look. It's a very model off duty look. I just, 
I love like I've been so focused on my skincare and trying to get my skincare to and been trying to get my skin to what I've been loving and I definitely have been loving my routine and so I want to show off my skin and I feel like my skin has never looked better so that's why I really love this whole makeup trend that's been going around because it really just allows your skin to breathe show through it's really about enhancing your features so a lot of the products kind of I bought it recently or have been loving recently really cater to that look so the first products I've been loving are by Merit I've been obsessed with Merit I worked with them back in December and I fell in love with the brand and I've been using them ever since if you see my Instagram my TikTok well even here on YouTube I'm always using their products recently what I've been loving have been their lipsticks the lipstick formulation that's what I have on my lips right now it's in the shade tiger it is stunning it's the perfect shade for spring and summer it really warms up the lips and what I love about this is that it goes on sheer and it builds up you can build it up to the shade that you want and I just love it because it's not like a normal lipstick I feel like either it's not drying on the lips it's so hydrating it it feels really good and comfortable on the lips and it's not like other lipsticks where sometimes like you know as you're eating and then your lipstick starts to come off well this kind of just all comes off gradually together and I don't feel like I have to like retouch it so much it's it's such a beautiful shade the next thing I have been loving have been their cheek flushes so their their blushes this is in the shade terracotta it's what I have on my cheeks right now and it's so warming I I love it like I said this is the type of look I go this is the type of look I go for for spring and summer I just want something very warm very cold and goddessy and this shade really is that it kind of even takes the place of a bronzer on on my skin tone at least and I I love it and it's super easy to blend with the fingers what I like to do is I like to take the product on my fingers I'll rub my fingers in it to warm it up I apply it to my cheeks and it just melts into the skin that's what I love about it is that it really looks like your skin but better it just adds that flush of color and it's just stunning the next product I've been loving have been lip oils I've been obsessed with lip oils I'm gonna mention another one soon but this is in the shade pink beet I also have it in the shade sangria which I love I usually lean towards that in the evening but this pink beet one is like the perfect shade for every day i always have it on my lips because it's just so comfortable it feels really good so i definitely would check out their lip oils i think their lip oils and their mascara are my favorite in their whole collection but i've been recently loving these two shades um from the blush and the lipstick so i would definitely check out merit if you haven't now following up with lip oil the next brand i've been loving has been kosas Again, I've just been into lip oils in general, especially in the spring and summer. Like, they're just really juicy on the lips. They're really comfortable. I don't feel like wearing a lipstick or anything like that. I just want a lip oil. And this shade is in the shade Dip. A great just everyday color as well. I really like the formula on this. I think the lip oils are my favorite favorite as well I think maybe just because I'm in this, in this phase of lip oils but I really love this one in the shade is so pretty the next thing I've been loving from Costas has been their shadow it's I think it's a it's like a shadow a cream shadow <sighs> when I first tried this I was scared I'm not one to put cream shadows on the eyes like I said I'm oily so usually my eyelids get oily and it's just it's a mess this does not budge at all where you apply it where and how you blend it out it will not move and this is coming from one of the oiliest girls ever i'm obsessed with this formula this color is so pretty it's like the perfect everyday color i usually use this like on my days when i want to have a little bit more makeup on then i will go for this cream shadow it's one of my favorites a uh, last thing from coasters i want to mention are their color and light creams this is in the shade Velvet Melon. I have been using this non-stop. First of all, I just love this shade. It's a very beautiful shade for the spring and summer. Again, very warm. It's kind of got like a peachy undertone to it too. And then it has this beautiful highlight. 
Again, these products are just really nice to even use with your fingers. Really easy to do, really easy to blend out. And I just, I've just been really enjoying these shades, to be honest. I actually have another blush from them. It's powdered. I love it too, but something about their cream blushes, it's just, it's, oh, it's a delicious formula. I really have been enjoying it. Next line I want to mention is Laura Mercier. It's so funny. I don't really reach for a lot of stuff when it comes to Laura Mercier, but I got these two products for my birthday gifts <laughs> last month, and I've been super obsessed. So the first thing is this Caviar Stick Eye Color in the shade strapless it's what I have on my eyes right now this is what I wear almost every single day it looks darker like this taupey dark color but when I apply it to my lids it blends out really beautiful and it almost doesn't even look like I have anything on my eyes which is what I really like again another product that I can blend with my fingers it's just really it's just a really easy product to use I actually want to grab more shades than this and these caviar sticks because I've just been enjoying the formula with them and then the second thing I've been enjoying by Laura Mercier is their translucent powder so funny enough I don't know if they changed the formulation or if my skin has just changed over the years but I've been obsessed with this formula because when it first came out I tried it and I did not like it <laughs> The, I think I, I didn't like it so much that I didn't really try any other products from Laura Mercier. That's how much I didn't like it at first. And this is like when it first came out. So this is a, years ago. Anyways, I decided to try it again because I got it for my birthday. Um, and I fell in love with it. Like I'm obsessed with it. I reach for it actually a lot. I actually like using it with my beauty sponge. I like using it damp and I press the product into my skin and it just looks flawless. I mean, it's rare for me to talk about uh, face setting powders because you already know that I love the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder. But it's had some competition recently with this loose powder. So anyways, definitely a favorite. The next brand I want to mention is Say Beauty. I have been so obsessed with this brand in general. They are actually the first brand that I started to look into when I just wanted a more natural look. And these products, I can't rave about enough. They're usually what I show in my tutorials like all the time. It's These are like my everyday products. So the first thing, it's all dirty so I'm going to hold it like this. <laughs> the first thing is this slip tint. It's a broad spectrum and it has SPF 35 in it. I have the shade 5 right now which is a little bit darker for me but it's it's perfect for spring and summer this is your skin but better it's it's the most beautiful tinted moisturizer I've ever used I'm that obsessed with it it's going to be my go-to this whole spring and summer it literally looks like your skin but better the way that it melts into your skin it gives you this really healthy Glow, I feel like this is one of my favorite products to just give me that youthful look. I'm obsessed with it. This is definitely something if you're looking for a product with SPF in it and then a product for spring and summer, I would definitely recommend checking out this slip tint. And then my second favorite has been the Sun Melts. These bronzers just give me so much life. It's such it's probably the most perfect formula ever it's really on par with the Fenty cream bronzers to be honest I love the Fenty cream bronzers I just love this one a little bit more and I feel like this one gives me a little bit more dewy finish which I love it's a really healthy glow that's kind of what I've been going for and this product can do no wrong with any foundation I've used this blends into it beautifully so I would definitely recommend checking this out and I got this uh I want to say about like two months ago and I barely put a dent into it love it okay this video is gonna be long <sighs> I'm like almost even tired of talking so next let's just go over our lifestyle favorites real quick and then we'll be done so one of my favorite lifestyle favorites 
books. I've been so into reading again. I've been making it a priority to read at least 30 minutes every day. My favorite thing I've always talked about is going to the library. So from the library right now, I've been reading seven years younger. And I just brought this up because I love books on skincare. Like, I, I love learning about skin and skincare and just different things. And I've been really enjoying that book. But my favorite in general is just a skincare book. Like, I love the Skinny Confidential one. Um, there's the Korean Skincare Bible. There's, there's a couple of other skincare books um, that I can link down below for you guys that I love. But I love picking up books on skincare. My second favorite... <laughs> I am milking this. I am halfway done. But I just, I love this story. It's The One Italian Summer. But I love the author. The, she's one of my favorites. It's Rebecca Cyril. I hope I'm saying that right. She also wrote In Five Years. And I loved that book. It was, it's one of my favorite books to date. So I saw that she was coming out with this book. I think she came out with this book in March or April. Anyways, I finally got my hands on it, and I've literally been milking it because I don't want to finish it. I've just been enjoying it, and I've been really taking my time with it. It's just like a really lovely book, like a really lovely story. Um, I'm not going to give too much away about it, but it is about this woman who unfortunately lost her mom. Um, before her mom passed away, they were planning a trip to... Italy and so when her mom passed away she decided to go on the trip and I'm gonna just leave it at that it's so good I already told my mom that I'm gonna give her this book next and she's been asking me before but I'm like I can't finish it because I've just been enjoying it so that's a good thing in itself that I'm not making myself read it really quick I'm really just enjoying it so if you just want one of those feel-good books I would definitely pick this up another the next favorites have been these I love blue light blocking glasses I, i'm on the computer all day every day all day every day and i'm on my phone all day every day so i really reach for blue light blocking glasses i've mentioned these before um they're both by key these are in hardwire and then these are ceo these have been my favorite i just love the shape i love the color um but I reach for both of these all the time. I always have these on hand. And then my last two lifestyle favorites are consumption favorites. So the first one is the Hum Vitamins. I've been loving these beauty vitamins. Now before you take vitamins or anything, again, consult with your doctor or anything. This is just what I've been loving recently because I'm a big fan of taking melatonin before going to bed. I try to take it about... I try not to take it every day. I try to limit myself to about three times a week just when I want a really good sleep. But this has melatonin and B6. And it gives me such a peaceful sleep. So like I said, I'm not recommending it. Again, talk to your doctors before taking anything like food, vitamin, anything. If I, I were to say my favorite, just always consult with your own doctor first. But that has been one of my favorites. And then lastly, I've been obsessed with, the, with this organ... Oregon organic superfoods powder. It's a greens powder. I've been incorporating this into my diet I drink it every single morning and I just feel super Energized this is already my second jar of this it lasts for about a Is it about a month? I think so. I think I buy it once a month And I just feel like incorporating greens into your diet is a really good thing to do and like I said it gives me this really good clean boost of energy and I'm getting all the benefits from it. So this has definitely been a lifestyle favorite the past couple of months. And those are all my favorites. This video is long already. So I'm going to wrap it up for you guys. In the comments down below, tell me a favorite you've been loving. It can be anything. It could be either beauty related, lifestyle related, or maybe just a hobby. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like these types of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh,